In this figure, the circle has a radius of 12 cm, the length of line AB equals 12 cm, and BC equals 23 cm. Determine the distance from line BC to the center of the circle, M, and the length of AD. The first thing we will do is to draw a perpendicular line from M to line BC. Let's call the point of intersection N. Note that, this line divides line BC into two equal segments. It follows that NC equals 11.5 cm and BN equals 11.5 cm. Next we draw a straight line from M to C, and this line is the same as the radius of the circle which is 12 cm. Since triangle MNC is a right angle triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of line MN, which is the distance from line BC to M. From Pythagoras' theorem, mc square equals mn square plus nc square. Since mc equals 12 cm, and nc 11.5 cm, substituting these values in this formula, it follows that 12 square equals mn square plus 11.5 square. 12 square is 144, and 11.5 square is 132.25. So, 144 equals mn square plus 132.25. To find mn, we take 132.25 to the left side, 132.25 going to the left side will become negative since it is positive. It follows that 144 minus 132.25 equals mn square. 144 minus 132.25 is 11.75. So, mn square equals 11.75. Next we take the square root of both sides. It follows that mn equals square root of 11.75, which is approximately 3.4 cm. Next we will calculate the length of line AD. Since line AD is a tangent, and it intersects with the secant, line AC, at the point A, we can say that, from tangent secant theorem, AD square equals AB times AC. Since AB equals 12 cm, and AC equals 12 plus 23, which is 35 cm, substituting these values into this formula, it follows that AD square equals 12 times 35, which is 420. To find AD, we take the square root of both sides. Doing so will give us AD equals square root of 420 which is approximately 20.5 cm. Please subscribe to my channel to encourage me to make more videos, thanks.